Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Back over to a brewery case out of the Netherlands to take a look at one of their barrel aged project beers. This is a 19.01 Scotch Ale aged in Bowmore barrels. This is weighing in at a nice 9% ABV. A little bit of info there on the back. 330ml jobber. A series of beers that they, I think they do it on a yearly basis. Um, this year I think there's four four beers all barrel aged let's see what we get with this one can't say i've had that many scotch sales as well to be fair probably a handful oh right okay i'm gonna stick it in this uh brew dog tulip i've dug this out of the shelf isn't it weird though when you like certain glassware I'm a, I'm a bit of a glassware geek i purchased this in my my very first ever online brew dog order and i i ordered a glass and i ordered a bottle of the victory collab u-boat i think it was a an imperial stout or an imperial porter um back then they used to send it shit loads of like extras loads of beer mats loads of stickers you get nothing now Anyway, beer in a glass, jet black, lovely. A little bit of carbonation just going up. And um, we've got a, yeah, a, a beige, creamy finger of head. Just smoky, lovely smokiness to it, peaty almost. Wow, that is completely different. Yeah, just a, a, a charred peatiness campfire sort of whiffed um, there's nothing else really getting past that to be honest but it smells good it smells interesting cheers oh Now that for me, let me go in again. Very, very interesting. There's a lot going on with it, wood wise. Intake wise, you get that you get that charred peatiness. It's lingering. Going and going and going, that is. And then Sort of like halfway through that, you get like a, um, I don't know, a, a, a piney, cedary sort of wood. A bit more fresher sort of wood, if you were to eat wood. Then that whiskey thing kicks in on it. Bit of toffee in there. Bit of vineness. Um, yeah now on the, on that back end yeah a, a damp wood wet wood wet pine wet cedar nice and soft gentle mouthfeel um, get a little bit of that 9% ABV coming up a little bit of warmth now um Mouthfeel just under medium. There's a nice little bit of sweetness in there. <sighs> Different. I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, there's plenty of information on the back, but it's it's the majority of it is in Dutch, uh, so I can't add, make Edna tell of it. Um, Ops in it, Fuggles and East Kent Goldens, Pale Ale Caramel. I mean, it's, I've got a lot of time for this brewery. I think they make some decent stuff. They were one of them breweries, I think, they've, they've got a good all-round portfolio from, from an IPA to something like this, you know. They like to mess about and dabble. Um, yeah, this, this is it's certainly different. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, though. If you like your, of course, woody 
barrel aged beers then this might be right up your street but I think some people might find that wood a little bit too intense intake wise that, that charness almost burnt charcoal-y all them sort of things in the mix and then and then it, it sort of like tails off to a nice wet piney cedary sort of thing and then you get a little bit of the whiskey warmth bit of toffee bit of vineness all in all though it's it's a decent well-made beer mm. lovely Browry Keys, their Barrel Project 19.01 Scotch Ale, aged in Bowmore Barrels. See you on the next one. Cheers.